I present to you having fun in Robo Challenge. What is this? What am I? What am I supposed to pick? And really intense Robo Challenge rounds. Wait, wait, it's going up. No, wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I should complete. I actually need to go. Oh my god, I have this. And more. So now, I am going to be making Beast Swarm more fun than it already is. And this is going to be done by doing three challenges. Some in the test room, some not. And as you guys can sort of already see from my bees I actually have over here, the first challenge is me doing the Robo Challenge with every single bee from the bee catalog as you guys do see over here i'm gonna go down and i basically have one of every single bee and yes i i'm actually surprised i was able to fit every bee i thought there was like 51 or something but that actually isn't and i got four spare bees so i just got a couple you know spicy bees and more precise bees which is pretty nice and i am doing it in the test room as well because the bees map just looks way better and this actually doesn't count towards the robo challenge it only counts to other things that i won't really be doing and most of the items aren't really infinite and the items i'm talking about basically the smooth dice and the loaded dice and also the micro converters and i mean it's not really that big of a deal anyway because i can just craft it not gonna lie with you guys the hive does actually look quite nice you know it's all organized that took my time organizing and stuff and it's probably gonna get destroyed after this robo challenge so yeah but all right so since i'm talking about it let's actually start the robo challenge i'm pretty sure everything is on yes the soup smoothie the nectar i need to get more of the cool breeze and let's start okay so round one i'm gonna just go for this oh yeah which bee should i pick because this is gonna be different than my usual red hive that i actually had before i don't even know what bee is actually gonna help me collect pollen since most of the mythic bees aren't even gonna be here most of the time and i'm gonna go for this upgrade the pollen since i need it the most okay this is really going to be interesting i can't wait to get to like the higher rounds as well like round 15 or something to see how i can do okay like what are these choices see this is a, this is why i didn't want to do this challenge at the same time as well because i knew i would just have choices like this like i don't want this i mean actually and i don't want this actually it's not even that bad to be honest sure i'm gonna take that then festive bee oh i'm gonna get fuzzy though because it's a mythic i only have one fuzzy bee as well home page really good make sure to get it every time if you get it as well mm, bee attack i'll definitely need bee attack i'll go cactus field since i have both uh, pollens there nice i'm actually getting more mythics now okay precise bee get oh Wait, I got a buoyant bee. That's not even horrible, to be honest. Oh, this is a good one, too. Look at this upgrade. I just got blessed. Oh, my God. Nice. And am I going to... Shall I reroll? Okay, let's see. Oh, I got fission. I'm not sure. Is that good? I think I'm going to save it for next round and see what other ones I have. Because I feel like that one's pretty nice. Okay, so I'm going to just get up to, like, round 10 or something and meet you guys there. I'm not gonna lie, it's actually not that bad yet, although I'm only on round 3. Okay, now I am on round 10 as you guys do see over here. So this is where it's not gonna be fun. And okay, I got red pollen at least. I got lucky there. I'm going to go for a festive bee. Then I'm going to go for a cool bee. And I got bee attack, which is really good. That's 60% more bee attack. And I'm going to go for white pollen there. Okay, so I have everything on it. Red pollen, okay. Let me quickly just go over here. Please say I can get like a mushroom field or something. Okay, I actually got it. Wow, okay, nice. Well, I didn't really expect that. Because usually I get like nothing, if I'm being honest. It's going quite fast as well. Let me get my precision up. Not really going to get it up fast if I only have like two precise bees though. Red pollen is nearly done. Maybe because of the super smoothie and the nectar. Okay, nice. Right, so now the hardest part is, am I going to be able to actually kill the Kog'Maw's. Like, I'm, I'm not sure fully if I'm being honest. It's actually not that bad. I actually just killed the entire three pretty fast. Okay, so I was kind of worried I wasn't gonna get past round 10, but it seems like I am actually gonna finish it. So I guess the soup smoothie is really helping me. Wait, what? I just wiped that really fast. Oh, wait, they're all over here. Okay. I thought I was gonna go to, like, Pineapple Patch, but nah, they're all here. Okay, I'm done. It seems like the all bees are actually not even that horrible, to be honest. 
honest. I thought it was going to be really, really bad. Like, I thought I wouldn't even get past round 10. And here I am on round 11 already. Oh, nah. I just got blessed again. I'm on round 13 as well. And look at this. Bubbles collect 4x from red flowers. Flames collect 4x from blue flowers. Nah. And I've just reached round 15. As you guys see here, active bees 29 right now. I got a couple mythic bees. Got a couple event bees. Tadpole bees. Yeah, and that's it really. Then the upgrades. I mean, I just got blessed before you guys saw that anyway. Obviously, I'm going to go for red pollen because I mean, I have a red SSA. We'll go for a hasty bee might as well. And okay, let's start. So I still actually have my mushroom field boost. So I mean, might as well just use that one if you know what I mean. Then we'll get the stingers on. We'll put some jelly beans everywhere. And I think I'm ready to go now. Yes, let's try and refresh it as well. Get some of the precision. I definitely need it because I have zero right now. And these are already spawning. Okay, bro, what? Did you guys just see that? That literally died instantly. And I thought I would have had problems with this round. Why is it not spawning as well? Oh, one's over there. It's just coming. It's spawning really slow. I remember when Robo Challenge first came out. What was happening was that we literally had crazy amount of mobs spawning at once in like round 15. It basically was unbeatable. I'm not even gonna lie. It was literally unbeatable. Okay, I should probably stop actually caring about pollen right now and care about it later and just kill the mobs because these are just annoying. Right, get this. More precision. 5x with like three precise bees. Okay. I don't know why I'm hyping that up. It's not even that good. Get these over here. Get the star sort on as well. Kill that real quick. Okay, if I complete these mosquitoes that kill them fast, they they won't spawn at all like literally at all it's just gonna give me more time to actually grind the pollen part oh i just finished with the pollen part already okay so i just need to kill mosquitoes now nice just finished oh guess who got blessed again on round 18 Plus six super crit chance and more red pollen. Okay. Oh, yeah. I forgot about one more important thing. The actual quests. Like, what is this? What am I, what am I supposed to pick? There's no way I'm going to re-roll already when I need to re-roll later. Because I know it's going to be even worse later. Like, I'm pretty sure I just have to get quest B, right? There's no way. Okay, round 20 now. Yes. Okay, I actually got red pollen. Nice. And I got 3x strawberry. Oh, what are these choices? These are the worst choices yet. I'll of every single one. I'm gonna be honest, bro. I'm just go for exhausted to be at that point. Right, so let's go strawberry field. Actually, let's just kill bees instantly first since, you know, I actually need to do 20 this time. Not 10, 20. Get this one too. The part I need it to go fast is me actually getting the red pollen from the strawberry field here. Because if I don't get this fast enough, I might not actually complete the quest. Because I just struggle over here, yeah? I'll get the other ones in like 10 seconds or something, like a minute overall. But then I can't really spend that much time here or else it's just over for me. You know what I'm saying? And it's not looking good already. Okay. Oh, I just got festive gift. Let's see. This is my only hope. Please sir, actually do good. No, it's not going up. No way. One minute left and somehow I'm nearing to the end of the red pollen, but I'm not going to allow you guys. I don't think I can actually complete this. Wait, wait, it's going up. No, wait. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't actually complete. I, I actually need to go. Oh my God. I have this. Okay, I have 30 seconds left though. I actually need to complete this and focus. Nah, 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 nah. Halfway, halfway, halfway. Please, please, 10 seconds. 15. No. Bro, 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 please. Please. I'm so close. No, this isn't it. Oh. R.I.P. I was really close. I was this close. I was this close. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie though. It was quite fun if I'm being honest. But yeah, so now it's time to do the second challenge. And in this challenge, I will be using every single mythic bee. As you guys see over here. Wow, okay. The hive does look pretty clean. I didn't even realize it looks this clean. Bro, so much people are joining. The game's just gonna lag when I'm gonna boost. But as you guys heard over there, yes, I am basically going to boost with all the mythic bees I have right now. So let's go and donate a mythic egg since, I mean, I'm in the test room anyway. Bro, I went the long way as well. Like, I could just just went this way, not the... Oh my... Right, I'm on the mythic egg right now. Okay, let's see what I get. Please give me an actual red field though. Please, 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 just be good. Okay, we got strawberry, we got... 
Okay, we got a lot of good fields, right? So I'm gonna go strawberry just because, I mean, why not, right? That's a 12x as well on strawberry. Let's get everything activated. Okay, nice. So I just got everything on and everything's on. So let me just get precise up. Let me make sure everything is good. But overall as well, I don't actually know what my expectations for this boost will actually be for how much I'm going to make since I have every single mythic B. And because of that, I don't really know what hive collar I am and what hive collar I should have really gone. So as you guys see sort of already, I technically really just went red with, you know, the dark scythe or so, you know, all the amulets and oh my god i just got my scorching star right let's see how big the scorching star can even get i remember seeing like pro red hives get like 50k or something in just a normal boost so let's see if i can get something like that right so i'm only on like 3k right now it's not looking good oh and as you guys have noticed as well i don't actually have the test realm boost because i'm technically trying to treat it as like a main game boost that i would have done because that test realm honey day boost actually gives me like 100x everything and i'm not really gonna lie with you guys that doesn't really make it fair because basically me having that is like oh yeah i'm gonna do good with every single hive but this time i'm actually treating it like you know an actual boost and i don't really want to do it in the main game right now because i don't really want to spend all my honey on just all of the mythic bees then i actually have to get them gifted as well that's just too long plus i have like everything here anyway yeah so that scorching star didn't really do much for me i'm not even gonna lie with you guys i'm pretty sure that barely done anything oh yeah also look at all those fuzzy balls like i have all the mythic bees this is really good okay someone just went in the field with me let's see if they can help me a bit at least maybe they're gonna pollinate the field extra for me because all of my mythic bees that i actually have right now aren't really gonna do the thing i mean fuzzy bees by the way all the balloons in the field and obviously they go away just as i talk about them okay although i have all these mythic bees i still feel like overall i won't make like a crazy amount really because i literally only have the mythic hive bonuses i don't have any of the other beehive bonuses like you know the bear bee or anything else but why is this scorching star that as well this is horrible i need to actually concentrate okay so talking about that let me just concentrate for a bit and show you guys how good i can actually do have you guys noticed as well i'm literally not filling at all like i haven't filled once i haven't used any micro converters nothing it's actually going really well right so let's see how much i've actually now made 13 minutes let's see uh, oh, oh, wow, 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 wow. you guys didn't see that yeah so it seems like maybe all the mythic bees together maybe it isn't a good idea it was definitely fun to actually see all the mythic bees go in the field although it was kind of weird not having my haste to be or anything really but now let's have even more fun by doing stigberg challenge and other mobs as well with an entire basic hive and i'm not gonna lie with you guys i kind of always wanted to make my hive basic so let me just get rid of this balloon actually let's do it let's not waste any time right so let's get this let's get this oh this feels so good making my hive basic i don't know why i just always wanted to do it okay but let me see you guys once everything is done i just got the full basic beehive and obviously there's a snow Storm while i'm showing it to you guys but it does actually look really really nice i'm not even gonna lie with you guys i might even switch on my main account but what i'm first going to do is kill the coconut crab and obviously i'm gonna do it without the honey day test run boost and let's see how i'm gonna do right so i have basically like nothing really and let's see if i can even defeat it at this point like how long is even gonna take me what should take me like what five minutes maybe wait how, how how bad is it right now let's see okay i need to use the coconuts efficiently like that's the only thing that was gonna save me time
Right, I just hit 90k as well. And it's not even taking that long of a time. I feel like if I had that test run boost, I would have finished in like 10 seconds. Even with just the basic hive. And I'm about to kill it now. Okay, so how much was that? My record is 4 seconds, but I killed it in, in 2 minutes and 43 seconds. You know, that's not even that bad. That's sometimes better than I do in the main, on my main account. But that's mostly because I literally go AFK mid coconut crab for no reason. Because I start just randomly watching YouTube for some reason. I don't even know why I do that. Okay, but now what I'm actually going to do is do the stick big challenge and see if i can do well and once again without the test run mega boost that gives me 100x boosts for everything my high score for this is 4 billion let's see if i can beat it level one let's see how fast i can actually kill a level one and how much was that that's like eight seconds you know i'll actually take that level two basically dead now yep nice Right, let's see if I can actually even get to like a diamond stigbug amulet. Like, you know, I think that's what? Level 12, I think? Something like that. Oh, and I just noticed I don't actually have anyone to help me. So no. Oh, wait, someone's doing it. Nice. Just as I say that, bro, I just got blessed. A few moments later. Wait, where is he going? No, he left me. No. Why? Why? Yep, look, there's a totem in there. Now I have to do it myself to get 25%. Okay, nice. Just done it. Please don't go in the field. Please don't go in. Bro, obviously the stick bug went in the field. Just as I say, don't go in the field. Okay, bro. Bro, my teammate is so bad. Bro came in the strawberry field for just a bit and bro already is dead. He has better bees than me as well, by the way. Just look at it. Entire red hive. I only have basic bees and he died before me. Yeah, I think he might have to retire at that point. Level 7 only. Nah, to be honest, I don't even know if I'm going to get up to like level 12 or whatever it is to even get the diamond amulet. Please say bamboo. Yes, we got in the bamboo. Okay, nice. Let's actually glitch it. Make sure I get some good damage on that. And it goes away. Okay, nice. There's four minutes left and I'm only on level 8. And it just went in the field, bro. What? Bro, it literally was at like 77k and it's only at like 50k right now. Yeah, it's not looking good. Yo. Someone get the totem. Nice. Okay, there's two people helping me now. No, wait. Yeah, there is two. Spider field. What? Why is bro... Okay, never mind. Bro's not helping me. And bro's not helping me too. Okay, nice. We still have two minutes left under, actually. And let's see if we can even beat the level... Nine and it goes under okay. Well, it's just impossible at this point nice I might as well just quit at this point like I'm just not gonna finish it Am I go do a big stick bug what you're not even here first of all and what do you even mean by a big stick bug? How is this stick bug big? What am I even reading and like what did I just read? Under 30 seconds left and stick bug is inside the field Let's go! Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow! No way! Silver Stigbug! No way I actually got this! That's definitely a replace! Okay, well, I hope you guys have actually enjoyed the video because I'm not gonna lie with you guys, I actually really enjoyed playing that for some reason. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching, yep, and make sure to subscribe and make sure to like the video and yep, thank you so much for watching and yep, thank you so much for watching and bye!